you guys. Um, this video, we've got props. Um, in our house, we happen to have dumbbells and weights, um, but I know that we're all in a time where you probably don't have stuff just laying around, or if it's being shipped, it might have a delay in time for you. Um, so we are today just gonna use examples of how you could lightly weight yourself down um, and add a slight low resistance. So I've got a uh, can of pineapples. That was the heaviest can thing that we had in our house. Uh, it's coming out at one pound, four ounces. Um, and then I've got a can of beans here for just a couple ounces lighter. Um, and great is uh, we've all got jugs laying around, I'm sure, or if you have a gallon of milk that you can um, add to or empty. And if you've got some seltzer water bottles laying around, you could fill with some water. They'll be a little shifty from the liquid, but that's fine. A little extra balance involved. Another thing I pulled out was a can of paint um, to keep myself busy over the next um, few weeks. Um, I got a bunch of paint at Home Depot. So these cans, um, I think we're about this far down in the can and we weighed it at nine pounds. That's great. Oh yeah, the gallon is eight pounds. I'm gonna drink this much anyway. And then, I mean, how cool is it that you can drink what you're working out with? I mean, <laughs> so let's just go with that. Um, so a little added resistance, no equipment needed, except you and some house props. Um, I'm actually gonna grab my mat. Just because. So let's start right with some moving um, heel press taps to the back. We do this a lot, just stretch, 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 warm up the legs. We'll do about a three minute warm up here. Just move to get the heat. And then stand up and press up overhead. Let's change your foot motion to a toe tap out in front. And then a chest fly. Four, three, we're gonna go right into some stretches. So just turn to the side, reach up, and then fold over to you. Try to touch your toes. So you can do your version of touching your toes. If it's too quick to come down, just stop. For others, you're able to come right down. And then roll out of this. Any amount of warming up the spine is great right now. Take a round. Open. I do these all the time, every day. Because you want to round your spine, and then you want to flex it. Round, flex. It wakes you right up. Round, flex. Round, flex. I'm going to turn up your music a little bit. Alright, now let's keep a couple more round and opens here. Round, open, round, open. Okay, and now reach up, reach, reach. Another one that I do all the time, it stretches through your side. And you get the bonus front of the leg stretch. Okay, and then a couple hamstring curls. So what we're going to do is just do a little um, squat or half a squat if you're not ready to fully take it down. Okay, so just do a wide squat. So I'll do a half a, I'll do a half squat right here. Um, I love people getting down to 90 because if you stay right here, you're going to burn out your quads too quickly, and you want to be utilizing your backside. So if you stay here, you're only targeting these muscles. You can sit deeper. You'll get a lot more. Last two. You still use it to stretch. Okay, reach up again. Reach, reach. You want to be warm before we even pick up a couple of extra pounds. And then push across your body. Heat up your back. Get a good push right through the core. Eight. Six, spread your fingers. Stretch. Especially if it's morning time or end of the day. A lot of you are typing a lot, so stay open. 
Okay, back to squats. Again, you could do a half of a sit or deeper. Four, three, and we're gonna add some movement to this with some lunges. Okay, so step the leg back, lunge, come up, and now squat for two. Step the leg back, lunge, one of each, then squat, two. Again, lunge one leg back, then the other, and squat twice. Lunge the leg back, and the other. Now squat for two. One more, another set. Step back, this is your fifth set. Squat, two. Good, again, lunge back, one of each, and squat for two. We're gonna do two more sets for a total of eight. Lunge back, one, and one. Squat, two, eight, set. Lunge back, squat for two. Good, stay up and stretch again. Four, three, two, we're gonna go right down to your floor. So I'm taking an elbows and toes plank today. When you're in plank, make sure you're not pushing back. A lot of people need to start modifying, modifying right here. Don't let your butt come up too high. Try to keep a plank line from shoulder to hip to knee. When I look at people, I'm looking at their joint alignment instead of maybe body parts. So look at your alignment. And then a little more advanced is right here. Try to keep your elbow underneath your shoulder. And if you have not heard me say it before, when you're planking anything facing the floor during any, any type of plank, that's your worker side. So to get my groups through planks, I tell them to visually crunch your stomach like it's an accordion. Crunch, crunch. Squeeze it, it's something you feel no one can see. Pull in, upper abs to lower abs, and find that middle sweet spot. You're squeezing your quads. Your chest is heating up. You might be getting sweaty already. Eight counts. You take a break whenever you want. Last four, three, come to the knees, and push back and stretch. You can open up a little deeper here. You come right down, you can take some reaches to the opposite side with your arms to stretch your back. If you did reach, reach the other side. Okay, and then let's come up. Great. And then some hip motion, just circle out those hips. I'm about to add some weight. I'm going to pick up some, a gallon of water. The paint can, the paint can could be okay, but that's gonna be a lot on your fingers there because of that narrow hold. So this has a wider grip, at least on the handle. I'm gonna get some of my props out here. Okay, so let's go right here. Start with your jug or your heaviest that you have, um, like an eight to 10 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my right arm. We'll squat, row right up, we'll squat, row right up, down. You have an upright row here going. If you have both dumbbells and you wanna do both, go ahead. Two more and you're gonna switch arms. Switch, go down, up. Take as wide of a stance as you need to. Keep trying to get really low. You have three, two. Now take both hands, hold it, goblet squat. Pick up whatever you can and lift it. Just move. Any movement's great. Okay, let's press overhead. Down, up, down, up. If you're getting tired, 
drop back, or down, drop. Four, three, two, okay, stay up, one arm, press, up, up. So you, have, you can slow down your pace. If you're fine, keep pressing up. Again, if you have both dumbbells, go for both. Let's switch. Give you a chance to stay up for a bit. Last four. Three. Two. Okay, goblet squat again. Down, up. Be a little clean. Now add a press. Okay, let's add a knee lift. Right knee first, lift, left. So this kind of workout could tie you over until you get a chance to get dumbbells. Eight more. Last four. Three. Do two more. We're gonna take four counts and hold still. Hold. Stand up. Okay, let's set the weight down. And we're gonna go for the can of beans. It's a little wider on the set. We're gonna press, press. Real light. Might feel real light. Use it as a recovery round. I need the other can of pineapples. Okay, now just do a press. Up, up, up. Right, I'm going to switch out for the pineapples. Okay, switching out for the pineapples. Up, up. <laughs> because they are at least one pound each. So you make this harder by moving your lower half also. Let's come in with a fly. We're going to add some lower body. Eight more counts. We're going to pick one leg to send back. I'm going to do my right leg back first. You're going to hold your arms here. So you want them pre-exhausted. Step one leg back. Okay, and now I call this a reverse chin-up. When we do a chin-up, we're here, right? So get to your finish or start point. This would be like the bar. And then press. Press all the while you're isolating that front leg by getting in that back leg as low as you can. Now shake it up with a chest fly. In, out, in, out. Now we're going to add a lift on that reverse chin-up. So going in, palms facing you, lift for two. Out, in, lift. For two, out, in, lift. For two, out, in, lift. I think this is rep four. Out, in, lift. Call that five. Out, in. Let's do two more to get to eight. Out, in. Keep your elbows up. Out, in. Stand up. Reverse chin up only. So you're just trying to keep those arms up this whole time. Light weight. So high repetition. Shoulder press. Four, three. Now step your up opposite leg back. And okay, we're just gonna repeat the same thing. So in, out, in, out. Trying to keep those arms chest height or higher. So you want that upper chest squeezing as you come in. You can do palms facing you on the in or palms facing each other. Four more and we're adding your reverse chin up. Two. Last one. Okay, eight sets of in, up, up, then down. In, up, up, then down. In, up, up, down, out. In, up, up, down, out. In, up, up, down, out. Take two more to get to eight reps. In, up, up, down. One more. In, 
up, up, stand up, just that reverse chin up. Eight more, eight, six, four, three. Okay, let's set the cans down or your lighter weights. And go back to body weight work. Let's come into a plank, high plank. This time, you do pikes. Feet pretty narrow back there. You don't have to do the pike as like anything. This is all a suggestion. Your pike is here. It's not a downward dog. Not a downward dog. Your pike is getting as high as you can. Tiptoes. I'm squeezing my calves, my front shoulders even feel it. Back to plank. Hold. Pike. You never once release your abs. Plank. Hold. Pike. Plank. Catch it in plank. Pike. Up. Plank. Pike. Plank. Last set of each. Pike. Four, three, two, and come down. Okay, so we're gonna turn to one side. You get legs here. Come to stack. My hand under shoulder. Okay, that's back this bottom leg. Put it however you're comfortable. You're trying to get your top leg parallel to the floor. Once you get up here, don't drop lower than that start point. Try not to go lower than this. Okay, you can use your hand, your fingers. You'll end up on your palm. Now we're gonna pulse that leg. Try to keep your leg long. You're gonna feel this quickly. Optional, taking the arm up. So I've got a toe point. And this is gonna feel all through your abductors. Try not to push your butt back. You don't wanna break your plank alignment. So pulse that top leg. So in classes, you guys know if you're doing this, these get tough real fast. It goes from okay to whoa. <laughs> okay, flex your foot. So I've got my toes pointing towards you now. And we're taking that pulse still. Eight, and that somehow wraps around a little more towards your side of your glute, that's great. Okay, point the foot in circle, back. Four, three, now do a knee pull. You're coming in. I'm trying to touch my elbow to the outside of my leg. Circle forward, four, three, two, knee pull. In and long. Try not to break parallel, circle back. Three, two, knee pull. In, one more set. Circle forward and you get to stretch this. Three, two, knee pull for two, Okay, shift back, stretch that out. You'll feel that. Walk the arms away and push your butt back. Okay, now that side is fired up nicely. So whatever side that was for you, that side's gonna be your stationary leg. We're gonna mess around with some lunges here. Straight back lunge, knee drive up. So this is your first lunge. Down, up, down, up. We're going to swing this leg into a curtsy or bowler lunge. Like you're bowling, you'll see why. Looks like this. You're going to put your leg behind you. So it's going to change your thigh line. Don't change your shin line. It'll shift slightly. Try to keep knees and toes forward. Okay? And then you're going to change this into it's a curtsy lunge or a bowler lunge. Looks like you're bowling. Okay, so from here, come down and pulse. Up. In a few seconds, we're going to be moving this to a little bit of a side, back, curtsy, back, set. In five, four. Should burn already. Okay, come back up and stand. So I'm going to put this to a count. You're going to be stepping to the side, then a straight back lunge. Actually, we'll do the lunge first. Lunge, side, straight back lunge, curtsy lunge. So four lunges in the count. Back to curtsy. 
straight back lunge, half a squat, straight back lunge, curtsy lunge. Keep them going. Straight back, side, straight back, curtsy. Again, straight back, side, straight back, curtsy. Now stand up, get your jug, or your heaviest one. Add some pounds, lunge, back, side squat. Straight back, curtsy. Lunge, straight back, squat, lunge, straight back, curtsy. Two more, if you want, press, up, curtsy. Again, okay, now this next part, I'm gonna isolate at each spot. Lunge, pulse, four, three, two, squat, four, three, two, straight back, three, two, curtsy, four, three. Now get back and hold that lunge, pulse. When you pulse, it's not this. Don't drop and bounce. Come down, pulse up, up. That's the difference. Now, put that all in your four places. Pulse, four, three, squat. Down and pulse up, three, two. Lunge back, lift, and now curtsy. Three, two, stand up and press this up, up. You're just giving you a, ch a chance to stop that leg burning for a sec, but still moving. Now go up and over, up, over, up. Pass it up, over your head. I don't know if you can see <laughs> what I'm doing here. It's up, over. I can move back. I think I'm getting out of sight. This is all I'm doing. So eight more, and then we're gonna do your leg lifts on the other side. Okay, set the jug down, or your one bigger dumbbell. Two right here, one hand down. Same setup as your other side. Get to a position where you think you can maintain this hold. Take breaks when you need to. Leg comes up. Try not to break parallel. Arm up optional. Point that foot and pulse. Pulse. Don't cave right here. Stay long. Pulse. Remember what the other side felt like. Make this just as hard. Flex your foot and pulse. Keep lifting up. You want abductor and a lot of stabilizing happening down here. Five, four, three, point your foot again and circle back. Four, three, two, now you have those knee pulls. In, out, leg out, circle forward. Three, two, knee pull. We have one more of each, circle back. Four, three, two, knee pull, one more of each. Hang in there, circle forward. Four, three, two, knee pull. And then take it down for that stretch. Okay, so now that's gonna be your stationary leg. Just like the other side. You're coming into the same lunge back, side step, lunge back, curtsy. Practice your lunge here. So get a one or two in. And then check out your curtsy. So you are gonna feel that change. If it's too advanced, you stay up, okay? You don't have to move as quickly as I'm cueing it. So this is your curtsy here. Come down. And remember when we pulse, you get to your working point and fight against gravity. You're not getting anything if you bounce this out because gravity is already helping us push down. So you want to fight against it. So standing up, then we'll pick up your jug. Lunge back, side squat, lunge back, drop to your curtsy. Again, lunge back, 
Side squat, lunge back, get that curtsy. Again, so about five, four more with your body weight, then we'll add the jug or your heaviest weight. So curtsy, down that straight back lunge. Again, squat, level off, some degrees in squat, lunge, curtsy. Again, straight back lunge, squat, lunge, hit a curtsy, pick up your jug. You see, you can hold it in four, three, lunge back, squat to the side, lunge back, curtsy, lunge back, squat to the side, lunge back, curtsy. Okay, now add the press. Four circuits, trying to press. Keep your chest up. Breathe out. Three more circuits. Straight back, a curtsy. Two more, straight back, squat. Straight back, curtsy. Again, down, up, push. That last rep. Up. Lunge back. Curtsy. Just the press. Up. Up. So last time the top view came out of came out of sight of the camera. So this is all I'm doing. You can be standing for this part, going up and over. Just like you're carrying something. Press up. Need a little bit of tricep here. And if anything, it's just working, recovery. Bringing your heart rate down, but still working. We're gonna move on to upper body. Last four, three, two, bring that down. Okay, gonna do my team silly. It builds. I've got my two lightweight hands. You honestly don't even need them for this part. After this, I'll go on to abs and keep this pretty short. I would love to do a lifting video and I will get all the equipment out. You're gonna do a, um, a modified push-up. You're on your knees. When you come down, get your chest in line with your thumbs. Then press up. This is not a push up. Not a push up. This is a push up with a modification. This is not a push up. So I, I know it's hard to get into perfect position. And if you can't get that low, just do shorter, perfectly positioned push-ups. What you're gonna do is push-ups. Then you're gonna come up and wait, optional or not, so I'm gonna pull them back to my back side here. And you're gonna press. Weights or no weights, you don't even need the weights. Back and forth between the two. Okay, so get your hands down, and if you want to, you can catch these like a plyometric. Okay, start your push-ups. Okay, push off the ground, straight up, and press, press. I'm gonna try to get you through at least five sets of this. Stay open, clean, deep breaths. Four, three, two, back down, push-ups. If you wanna catch it, fall into it. If you've ever done a plyometric push-up, you will know how similar it feels. Last two, one more. Push off and press. So that's the end of set two. We're looking for at least five sets. Do eight more presses here. You don't have to do as many push-ups as I'm doing, as many as you can. Or you can plank back down. You modify by holding a plank here, or a high plank. If you can do lots of full push-ups, 
Do it. Back to your knees. Press again. So that's set three. Eight more counts. Seven plus five. Three. Put them down. And you go with push ups. You might be slowing down. That's good. You want failure, you want fatigue. Back up and press. You could be doing no dumbbells. Anything, you're gonna be real tired already. Plus six, four, three, bring it down and push up. You want to get your chest all the way down as many times as you can. Last two. One more. And press. Eight more counts here. A lot to add. In four, three, two, good. Set those down. So you can do um, your heavier set here. If you'd like, if you're lucky enough to have a kettlebell even, um, that'd be a great one for this. So I'm going to tuck the handle right up. Um, you can do a dumbbell or a press like this. It might be a little more comfortable. I'm going to take my same arm that has the weight and put a bent leg to it. This leg is going to slide forward and back. Some for some, it's going to be too hard to come all the way up. So you can use that assist just a little. Just a little. Fight yourself from dipping over and pushing up. Don't do that. Okay, so down, up. Down, up. And this leg is dead to you. Try not to use it by kicking out. Don't use that. Just shift uh, forward and back with that foot. Let it kind of hover over the floor. Okay, let's switch sides. And then we'll change up your abs here. This is just a little more weight for that shoulder. Okay, so bent, and you're trying to come up. Use that opposite arm as an assist without tipping to the side, don't do this, and coming up. Press up, and it, don't worry if you can't get that arm up. Just keep it pretty low, then bring it up second. Just do two more, two more. One more. Okay, now stay up with that. Take the feet, take your heels in. All you're gonna do is, you wanna try to get your V here, the letter V. Torso to thigh. Okay, so you're gonna tip back to where you start to feel it. If you have low back issues, stay a bit taller until you're comfortable with fully flexing your front side. So all I'm gonna do is lift. Come back down, up, down, up. The trick here is to not come perpendicular. That feels good. Don't do that. Down, up, chest, back up. So you constantly maintain that recline to an incline. Down, up. Now come all the way down and try to get both shoulder blades off the floor. So I'm still holding my little bit of weight and I'm trying to think, yep, my shoulder blades are almost fully off the ground. Little pulse or a little bigger than a pulse. Coming up in four, three, sit all the way up and same thing, lift. Bring it back down, lift. Up. Four. Three. Go back down to the ground. In two. 
bring it down. Oh. Eight more. Last eight. Five, four, three, and come down. Okay, I'm gonna call it, call it a morning. Um, I'll get another video out with real dumbbells, but some of us are stuck with these options for now. So pick up anything you can, and you can do that whole workout without holding anything. Um, if you have anything specific you want to see or see a creative way of doing something you normally can't do at the house, let me know and we'll work it out. Bye-bye.